The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. Welcome to The Life You Want is Yours, the show that is dedicated to living, loving, and having the most happy, healthy, successful, and abundant life. It is possible to live such life, and it isn't very difficult to build it. We'll talk more about how to do it in today's show. Patrick Kern, my husband, will accompany me in this show. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. And now let's have a recap of what happened on the previous show. Johanna told us that... In this show, we don't disregard anybody's preferences or beliefs. We only show you various angles and help you to expand your consciousness. This show is meant for everybody, no matter what is your background, age, gender, belief system, or lack of it. It is important to us that you will understand that. Whether you lean toward scientific theories or philosophical beliefs, the most important thing to remember is this. Life is a journey. Its distance is measured by the beauty of your heart. Not by the length of it. Not even by how successful you become in it. Your purpose is to constantly evolve and experience yourself. Only we can decide which route we want to choose, what we want to experience on our journey, where we want to arrive, and in whose company. Remember, you are worth living the most wonderful life. We don't need to be stuck in a stream of circumstances and perpetuate what's no longer satisfying. Contrary to some beliefs, our destiny is not a fixed thing. It doesn't take hard work or struggle to change what we want. Johanna talked about consciousness. One of the many scientists preoccupied with that matter is Dr. Robert Lanza, who was voted as the third most important scientist alive by the New York Times. He explains that the structure of the universe, with all its laws and forces, implies that intelligence existed prior to matter. He says that space and time do not really exist, but rather that we sort of carry them with us, like turtles with shells. And he implies that the death of consciousness simply does not exist. And only because people identify with their body, they believe that when their body perishes, their consciousness will too. Consciousness is what it is, a vibration, a current, a signal. Not long ago, the medical field talked about consciousness as being related to our senses. There is even an existing term we use when someone faints. We say then that the person is unconscious. However, now as we can see, we need to make a difference between the consciousness of our senses and the consciousness that we are, beyond our senses not being limited to our body and with the potential to exist forever. And that is the consciousness we talk about during our shows. We also talked about what reality is. From Einstein, Tesla and other scientists such as Peter Higgs and Francois Englert who received the Nobel Prize in 2013, we know that everything that exists is simply energy. That includes all that is material, measurable by our senses, and all that we can only perceive, our thoughts, emotions, or electrons. Did you know that nobody ever has seen or weighed an electron? There are two basic principles of quantum theory. Reality is being created by an observer and connectedness any things that have ever interacted are forever connected. What does it mean? It means that what we perceive through our senses does not exist. That is only an illusion which our brains, or more precisely our minds, interpret via our senses, giving us the illusion of reality. 
and we are the observers who create reality. Now the second basic principle of quantum theory, the connectedness, means that we are being forever connected to everything we have ever come with contact with. And because of the connectedness, we create the reality not only for ourselves, but also for everyone and everything that we have ever in any way been in touch with. We also learned how we create our reality with our thoughts. Everything, being a part of one huge energy field, vibrates, including our thoughts. They behave like radio waves, just like with radio waves, the frequency of vibrations of our thoughts determines their quality and outreach. And just like with radio waves, our thoughts are being sent out to reach, well, whatever they can reach. And what they can reach depends on the frequency of their vibrations, and that decides how our thinking affects the reality, or rather the illusion, that we create and co-create, whether we are aware of it or not. We also compare the latest discoveries in science with what some of the many philosophical or religious beliefs have been saying about infinity. While science talks about everything being a part of one huge energy field, many belief systems talk about God being all there is and containing everything within. No matter whether it is science or a belief system that resonates the most with our own inner truth, some things remain the same. We are all part of one whole and we are all connected. And you know what? It might be that what resonates with you is the scientific approach, or it might be that you are more drawn to a spiritual or religious belief. It is important to remember that there is no right or wrong answer. There is no better or worse approach. All that you believe or think about what's true to you is valid, real, and most important for you. Our show is dedicated to living, loving, and having the happiest, healthy, successful, and abundant life. It is easy to get used to any situation we are in, and it is more difficult to welcome change and step into uncertain ground, yet it can be done. As a matter of fact, it has been done by many others that you might admire and even envy their successful and happy lives. I usually say, if it has been done, it means you can do it too. We also gave you the first step in the game, Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life, a game that can help you change any life situation and achieve anything you want. We will give you the next step in that game later in this show, but now let's talk about our next topic, the fear of change and uncertainty and how to deal with it. It is one of the most common fears in life, and I wrote about the top 10 fears in life before on my blog on my official site www.johannakern.com. We will talk about all of them in our subsequent shows in more details. And later on today, I will answer some of the questions you sent me regarding your fear of change and the uncertainty that causes you to be stuck in situations that are no longer beneficial for you and you don't know how to change that. Thank you for sending me the emails. Of course, you will all remain anonymous. We don't reveal your identity while answering your questions. For those of you who would like to send me a question, you can email me at radio at johannakern.com and I will answer you on air during our shows. After the break, we will talk about the fear of change and uncertainty and how to deal with it so that we can live the life we want. The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. 
as long as our fear of change and uncertainty persists, we are missing out on the opportunities that are coming our way. Yes, it is easy to get used to any situation we are in, and it is more difficult to welcome change and step into an uncertain ground. When we get used to a situation that doesn't benefit us anymore, but we have learned how to operate and survive under the circumstances, such situation becomes our habitual safety. It means that we would rather deal with something that is familiar than try anything new, because new is scary. Many of us have the subconscious fear of the unknown. If you don't live to your full potential, if you find excuses and want to play it safe, instead of following your heart and building your life according to what it says to you, chances are that your life is driven by the fear of change and uncertainty. As long as it persists, you will never find the courage. Take the risk and open yourself up to the opportunities that are coming your way. Yet it can be done. As a matter of fact, it has been done by many others before. And here's how you can overcome your fear of change and uncertainty. Notice and accept the fact that our life consists of a stream of changes, with or without our consent, no matter what you do or not do. Life always brings you changes anyway, and that is actually the only constant thing in life. Change is a constant thing in life. Then notice and accept that there is nothing certain about any situation in life. There are no guarantees of any kind. What seems to be one thing today, tomorrow might be an entirely different thing. Yes, nothing is for sure in life. But you already know that, don't you? Next, look at your situation. Why do you think you have gotten used to the way it is? I will refer you here to the first step of our game, Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life. In that step, you invested one penny, putting it in your Better Life account, and with that penny, you were able to buy thoughts helping you on your way to changing your life. If you missed our previous show and didn't yet start the game, please go to my official site www.johannakern.com and look for the Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life game on my blog. Read the description of the game and start playing. Have fun with it. The more you relax about the outcome, the more effective you are. And for those who already started the game, I will give you the next step at the end of the show. Realize that your fear of change and uncertainty is stopping you from fully and happily experiencing your life. Fear of change and uncertainty equals fear of life. Fear of life equals wasting opportunities. Wasting opportunities equals wasting your potential. Wasting your potential equals lack of happiness. Lack of happiness equals lack of joy of life equals lack of fulfillment. Success. Now do the math. It's easy. Life minus fear of change and uncertainty equals happiness, fulfillment, success. It is really worth to get off your safety cushion and step into your life with courage and trust. Remember, your life is not your enemy. Your life is your loyal friend. Acknowledge it. Appreciate it. Live it. You are worth living the most wonderful life. You have nothing to lose except your fear of change and uncertainty. Now that you know how to deal with your fear of change and uncertainty, you might start making the first step on your way to a better life. Go for it. 
you might start with playing the Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life game. It has proven to be very effective for many. Have fun! Remember, it is our thoughts that create our reality. You are the only creator of your life and you can choose what you want and what you don't want. And that's how it works, according to quantum physics and the ancient masters who knew how the reality works and provided us with tools to reprogram our subconscious. I will talk more about it in our next show. And now I would like you to relax and repeat after me in your mind a very useful affirmation that can be helpful for those who struggle with their subconscious or conscious fears that prevent them to live the life they want. The affirmation comes from my book 365 plus 1 Affirmations to Create a Great Life and goes as follows. I let go of my worries. I know life will support me if I fully embrace my own worth. I am a unique human being, one in billions, with my own story to tell in this life. I let my story unfold without fear of the future. I trust my own process. I trust that all is happening for my best. Good. Very well done. We will repeat this affirmation at the end of the show when I'll be guiding you through a short relaxation to help you in the process of reprogramming your subconscious. Why do we need to reprogram our subconscious? It is because that all that we have stored in it has often a much greater power over us than our conscious thoughts. Our subconscious is often packed with all our fears and the negative programming we acquired in our childhood. For instance, all the criticism from our parents, caregivers, our teachers or society that made us believe that we are not worth living a better life, we do not deserve success and happiness, and that life needs to be hard, and we need to be miserable, depressed, tired, overwhelmed, and not reach for our dreams and goals. Our subconscious is full of such negative programming, and our own negative thoughts about ourselves, our life, relationships, job, etc. And if we don't deal with the baggage, of our subconscious, it will be, indeed, more difficult to change our life. It means that while we are improving our conscious thinking and making progress in implementing the necessary changes to live the life we want, we also need to take care of our subconscious. I will be giving you tools and ideas for what you can do about that in our subsequent shows. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be hard. Life is not your enemy. And if something has been done before by a human being just like you and me, it means that we can do it too. Yes, if it has been done, it can be done. You deserve a truly great life. Whoever taught you to think differently of yourself was wrong. Do not believe them anymore. You can take your destiny in your own hands. You can give yourself enough time and enough caring to make right what went wrong. You fully deserve it. And before all, relax and enjoy the moment. Take one day at a time. You do deserve the best and you will get where you want to be. After all, look how far you have already come. You are the best thing that can ever happen to you. Please remember that. 
The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. Time for questions and answers. As I said before, we don't reveal your identity while answering the questions, so you can safely send me an email to this address, radio at johannakern.com. And here is the first question. Hilsa asks, why does fear cripple some of us to a degree that we cannot even breathe? Hmm, that is a very important question, and I feel I need to answer it very thoroughly. Indeed, many of us have experienced a situation or situations when we were paralyzed with fear. We couldn't even think straight. Maybe even our surrounding became blurry. Or we had a profound ringing in our ears. Our heart was pounding. Our hands or our whole body was shaking. Now, imagine that some people may repeatedly go through such experiences. Yes, it does happen for some people. If your fear is overwhelming, then it is probably related to what is called by psychologists fight, flight, freeze, or fawn response. It is due to our natural biological wiring, rooted in our ancestors' instinctual behavior in dangerous situations, such as, for instance, when they met a lion or a bear on the path and had to do something to survive either run or climb up a tall tree and very quickly, or freeze and pretend to be already dead. And that's why we might have those uncomfortable symptoms under an overwhelming stress. However, there is no need to give in to a prolonged stress and let ourselves feel that way when we are simply dealing with difficult life situations. Most emotions can be monitored and modulated. Not all of them are involuntary. Remember, whether any experience seems to us bitter or sweet depends on us. Bitter and sweet are just two sides of the same coin called life journey. As we know, we define our experiences and we decide whether we like them or not. We can compare our emotions to the clouds in the sky. They can flow, coalesce, or quietly pass by. We can identify with the clouds, being always affected by our emotions. Or we can identify with the sky, which remains calm, no matter what kind of clouds are passing through it. It means that we can sometimes be in an emotional hole, but still not suffer from it, knowing that the emotions can be monitored, can be handled, and that they will pass. If we distance ourselves from our emotions, we realize that we can interpret experiences in various ways. We can appreciate everything that we experience, or we can choose to be selective and either love, hate, like or dislike what we are experiencing. We need to remember also that we can still maintain our happiness despite many unpleasant situations. Happiness is not the thrill or pleasure we experience when we are having fun. Happiness is a state in which we are always comfortable in our own skin, enjoying life, regardless of any circumstances. We will talk in more details how to create and maintain happiness in our life during our shows. You can also read about the seven steps to happiness on my blog, on my official site, www.johannakern.com. Our own perception of the world and ourselves has the largest impact on how we feel about life and the difference between our conscious and unconscious experience of life is huge. When we live life more consciously, maintaining our distance from each experience, 
without automatic responses, without trying to avoid at all cost what we perceive as bitter or unpleasant, we are able to reach the natural state of happiness and joy of life. We are able to develop faster while making conscious choices as to how we react to each experience. Your emotions can become your choice. They can be wise, mature, and helpful. And healthy, mature emotions can guide you in situations that are not clear for your logical mind. Some people call it intuition. Some people describe it as having a good nose for something, for instance, in business. Yet others call it emotional intelligence. And your emotional intelligence comes to the surface when you remove fearful judgments from your life. It will tell you what to do when your mind can't figure it out. Our emotions can be wise. They don't have to be merely reactive, involuntary, overwhelming or inaccessible. They are a very important part of us. But we need to and can learn how to deal with them. Next time when you find yourself overwhelmed with your emotions, take a break. Stop doing whatever you are doing. Step back. Remove yourself, even for a moment, from a place, a room, anywhere where you are experiencing an emotional break and remind yourself that you are not facing a lion, but a difficult or upsetting situation and that it has no power over you. Close your eyes and take ten deep breaths. Yes, it does work. Do you know why? Because when you breathe deeply and repeatedly, it increases the supply of oxygen to your brain and stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, making you feel calmer. If you are under a lot of stress in your life, it is advised that you practice abdominal breathing from your belly for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Such breathing helps you to connect with your body takes your awareness from your worries and quiets your mind. As you can see, Hilsa, there is something you can do to get rid of your overwhelming fear, and I know it can be done. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you and sending you lots of good energy. The life you want is yours. With Johanna Kern. We have a question from Jeff. I have a really dull job that I don't exactly hate, but I'm getting more and more tired of it and don't have any interest in staying with it. My boss has promoted me last year and I'm making good money. If I change jobs now to something that really excites me, I will be earning less money and I won't be able to afford the lifestyle I have now. I'm in my late 30s and I feel if I don't switch jobs now, it'll be too late for me to do so. Basically, I'd like to have a job that I love, but don't want to give up the money I'm earning right now. What do you think I should do? You know, Jeff, as I was listening to your question, I couldn't help thinking that indeed you do have an unconscious fear of change and uncertainty, and it will never ever leave you if you don't face it and clearly define your priorities. Is your happiness and excitement at work more important to you or the lifestyle that you have now? Remember, there is no better or worse answer, but you need to know what is the answer. And that will be your first step. You need to take a piece of paper, make a straight vertical line on it, and write down on the left all the pros and cons for staying in the old job and then on the right all the pros and cons for finding the job of your dreams. Since you have not mentioned your spouse or a family that you need to support, I assume that you are single. In that case, it will be actually even easier for you to make your decision, since it will affect only your own life. 
Once you've written down all the pros and cons on each side of the paper, you need to now summarize and compare all what you have written there. You need to decide what is more important to you, your happiness or the money you believe gives you what you want. You need to decide if the money that gives you what you want is enough in your life and if it is enough to make your life exciting for you. It isn't the job, Jeff, that needs to be exciting. It is your life that needs to be exciting. It is your life that needs to give you what you want, not the money. You have already noticed yourself that although you have enough money to get lots of things, those things don't make you happy. The money doesn't make you happy. And although it is very useful and important to have it, money alone will not make your life the way you want it. That's why you are considering changing your job situation. That's why you are no longer satisfied with what you have now. Life is too important to let it slip through your fingers. Life is too precious to waste it on something that is not the way we want it to be. The only thing that stops you from getting of your safety cushion is your subconscious fear of change and uncertainty. Nothing else. You don't have a family to support. You are not risking losing anything except of perhaps a few material things. And you know what? You might even be able to earn the same amount of money in your dream job. You never know. I don't think you need to worry about that right now. You are stuck in your habitual safety. You've learned how to survive in this situation and you are afraid to try something new. Because the new is scary. Not because you are afraid to earn less. That is a simply an excuse that your mind uses to explain your subconscious fear of change. I encourage you to play the Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life game if you haven't started yet. Go to my official site www.johannakern.com and you will find the game on my blog. It will help you to get clear about what you really want in life and it will help you to make changes in your life, no matter what you decide, whether you stay in your old job or decide to quit and look for another one. You need to change your life for the one you want because you are worth it because you fully deserve it. The life you want can be yours and I wish you the best of luck. The life you want is yours with Johanna Kern. And now it is time for the second step in our game, Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life. That's right. Let's do it. In the second step of the game, you need to put one investment penny in your Better Life account, that is, the nice box or container which you put in a safe, pleasant place in your home, work or school. In other words, put one IP in your BLA. Go back to the description of the game on my blog on my official site if you don't know what we are talking about. Have a look at what you have been doing thus far to change your situation. You most likely achieved little or none of what you wanted. Or, after getting what you wanted, things went back to what they used to be. Now you can see that the same actions will never bring you different results. Same actions equals same outcome no matter how many times it is repeated. Do not regret the time and energy you spent struggling and repeating pointless actions in the past. If you hadn't done that, how would you know that it didn't work? Time limit? One week till our next show. You need to assess the situation without second guessing. If you start doubting yourself, you will go back to your old pattern. Reference. The younger brother kept trying 
to take off in the plane, although it didn't work. As obvious as it was, he didn't realize for quite a while that the load was too heavy, since his older brother was weighing him down. He kept struggling until he realized that he could not fly the plane like that. Stop doing what doesn't work. Have fun with it. Don't worry if you don't remember the story in the game or how to do the first step. We have posted the game Nine Pennies Can Change Your Life on my blog, on my official site www.johannakern.com and we are adding there the next steps in the game after each show. The life you want is yours with Johanna Kern. I would like you now to do a short relaxation with me. This will be our routine at the end of each show. You will be guided to repeat some affirmations that can help you to reprogram your subconscious and deal with your subconscious fears. The affirmations come from my book 365 plus 1, Affirmations to Create a Great Life. The book contains a step-by-step program which I designed based on many years of experience in counseling people to help them achieve what they wanted the most. If you are ready, I'd like you to listen to the following. Find a comfortable position, sitting or lying down. Close your eyes and let your arms rest alongside your body. Good. Now take a deep breath and slowly let it out. Take another deep breath and again slowly let it out. Then, while taking in the next breath, let it fill you up from toes to head and add an image to it, a pleasant dim light glowing everywhere inside you. Keep breathing and observing the light inside from the count of 10 to 1. 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax and let the dim light inside shine in every single cell in your body. Good. In order to reprogram your subconscious for the life you want, you need to learn how to replace your negative thinking with positive thoughts. Your life is not your enemy. Your life is your loyal friend. Acknowledge it. Appreciate it. You are worth living the most wonderful life. Repeat after me in your mind. I let go of my worries. I know life will support me if I fully embrace my own worth. I am a unique human being, one in billions, with my own story to tell in this life. 
I let my story unfold without fear of the future. I trust my own process. I trust that all is happening for my best. Good. Well done. Remember, the life you want on the subconscious level is already yours. And now you will learn how to access it so that you can start living it in your day-to-day reality. You have learned a lot from your past and now you can be free from it. Any hardship you have experienced has only made you stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. Repeat in your mind, I will treasure what I have learned through suffering and struggling as a good lesson about who I am. I know that I am powerful. I know that I can trust and respect myself. I completely release my past and live in the now. Well done. You can move forward now in your life. The life you want can be yours. Make it your reality. Enjoy it and love it. You are a powerful creator and you will get what you want and live the life you want. Now you can open your eyes at the count of one to five. One, two, three, four, five. Open your eyes. Excellent. You've done very well. You are fully relaxed, yet energized and happy to continue with your day. Thank you for participating. You have done very well. I wish you the most wonderful time. Enjoy your entire week until we meet again at the same time. I will be responding on air to your questions, of course, without revealing your name. Please send them to this email address, radio at johannakern.com. Have a good one. See you next week. The life you want is yours with Johanna Kern.